Pittsburgh for me was a very much a place where you can kind of explore yourself, you can explore concepts in this environment. Everyone's trying to learn together and grow together. Versus Silicon Valley feels like the place where when you've learned, you can come in and really compete with the best. My name is Sarika Bajaj and I am pursuing a dual master's degree, the first in electrical and computer engineering and the second in technology ventures here in the Silicon Valley campus. I've always been interested in entrepreneurship ever since as a kid um, and that's kind of the reason why I even applied to the MSTV program is because I thought it would give a really great opportunity to learn about Silicon Valley's entrepreneurship scene and really get an intro into that. And so um, coming into the program, I knew I wanted to do something about how we can help the environment and how we can help product design. And so over the past year through Cheryl's um, it, startup creation class, I've been working on how to actually make that va vague concept into an actual startup. And so now we're working on how we can use robotics and image processing to enable textile recycling. The faculty have been amazing, you know, because everyone has just has so many years in the industry that when you're talking about, you're starting your career and you're starting a new concept, well, it really helps to say have Matt, who has like 30 years of experience listening to pitches, or Cheryl, who's like a marketing genius, or Adrian, who literally gets paid to help figure out, you know, where does, what's product market fit? And, you know, to leverage their experience and when you're just starting, it's, it's incredible because you feel like you're getting to a much better result because you're able to leverage them. It's been really nice that they've given us access to their network because otherwise, it's pretty hard to find someone who's supposed high up in the fashion industry. Suppose someone who's high up in, you know, all of the, like recycling. How do you actually reach out to these people? Well, this person has this friend who has worked 20 years in sustainability. And, you know, that has been so important. It also makes you realize that whatever product you're making has an actual fit in the market. The first major great resource I got from MSTV is uh, CMU's Venture Bridge program. They had a mentor matching event in the fall and I got a great mentor and she's been exceedingly helpful to even get her perspective on, well, this is what you're doing right, this is what you're doing wrong, these are some goals that if you hit, then all of a sudden you're a great fit for funding. And to have that inside perspective, it's invaluable. The uh, CMU Venture Bridge mentor matching event was the first time I ever had to pitch my startup. I even tried practicing beforehand, and I, and I just wasn't sure practicing was even helping. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna stand there for five minutes, it's low risk, if nothing happens, nothing happens. So you're being so vulnerable and putting yourself out there, and then all of a sudden when you do it, and then people give you feedback. All of a sudden you realize how much feedback you need. And I think actually the Venture Bridge event was the, was the source that I started catapulting into talking to more people. Entrepreneurship is about solving a problem, but it's also how do you make it that problem economically viable? Because if it's not playing in the market, it's just not going to be used by most people. You know, and that's a really iterative process, and that's when it comes back to like customer discovery and validation. How do we always focus that you're solving a problem that people will pay for? And then how do you keep validating that? How do you make sure that there are people who will actually find this useful? The, the major event I went for customer acquisition was actually an event called Zero Waste San Diego. And that was really exciting because you see people in the California recycling industry, from government to actually recyclers to just individuals who are interested in the space and maybe they have host trash pickups to see what everyone else is doing but even getting a couple contacts from there that say oh these are people who are really interested in textile sustainability then you reach out to them and then you kind of go down this loop and so events like that are really helpful because you just hear what people who worked on this for 30 years are actually saying about this specific industry. Too, a great piece of advice that Cheryl gave us was to keep a journal and so I've been obsessively journaling my startup and that helps to be like, okay, I have grown a lot, you know, I have learned these things and I am moving forward. It's just, you really have to talk and then put a pitch out there and then be willing to step back if it's not a great fit. With this, with this startup concept, we've built a new team. I have two CMU co-founders. It's very exciting. Um, and you know, we're starting our initial prototyping process. We're still going through customer validation. And I think now it's after graduation, it's going to be the real test. You know, we have a few months that we're planning to just be working on the concept. And we're going to see by the end of the year if anyone is willing to put in money into the concept. And then. Either this is going to go somewhere or it's going to be abandoned, I don't know, and it's the scariest thing I've ever done. But I'm excited, we're going to, we're going to try it out. 
Honestly, the reason why I started this startup was because I wanted to do something that I knew I'd enjoy every day. And even at the worst times when I'm scared and I'm stressed and everything feels like it's falling apart, I'm actually happy because I feel like I'm solving a problem that's worth solving. And I think that's what I want out of my startup. And I hopefully it'll work. And hopefully I can do it for a long time. <laughs>